Our guru was an incarnation of God, which means that God's qualities and powers manifested through him. And so he was in tune with God 100% and did the will of God throughout his life here on earth. God doesn't take a body here on earth, but he sends one of his divine sons, one who was a human being, and made an effort to contact God because God is the goal of life. We are here to realize our own divinity and oneness with him. The Guru has cosmic consciousness, and he comes to our level to raise us up from the human state to the divine state. And he exemplifies the spiritual way of life. In Sanskrit, guru means dispeller of darkness, as we know. Darkness of ignorance, disease, poverty, delusion. This is what we want to overcome. Jesus said, I am the way and the light. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. Human consciousness is a state of darkness. Our guru loved God while he was here, expressed great devotion for God, and his love was for us too, because he had nothing to gain when he came here on earth. He had everything. When you have God, what else is there? So he was a channel of God teaching us. He was very humble and he said, I am not the guru, God is the guru. But he was a guru here on earth for us. And so it is God that draws us to a guru. We think we read a book and uh, we accept the guru on our own, but it is not that easy. Master said, if God were not planning to free you, you would not have the idea of seeking him. So God has an interest in our salvation. And that is the reason why he sends an avatar on earth from time to time. Jesus emphasized the importance of a guru. Guru is our teacher. How did we learn to read, write, and do arithmetic? Those of us who know. <laughs> because many today don't. Jesus was an avatar in his time. He was the guru. And in our time, Paramahansa Yogananda has come to give us the teachings of God for all of us. Master was ordained to establish Self-Realization Fellowship when he was even a boy. He had visions of the three places he would own, he used to tell us. Ranchi, International Headquarters at Mount Washington, and the Encinitas Hermitage. He didn't know at that time under what circumstances he would have these three places. And so Christ met Babaji in Himalayas and asked Babaji to send someone to the West. And Master was the one who was chosen. And Master promised to help us incarnation if, after incarnation if necessary. And in his poem, God's Boatman, I just want to read parts of it that pertain to us at this time. Master says, I want to ply my boat many times across the gulf after death and return to earth's shores from my home in heaven. I want to load my boat with those waiting thirsty ones who are left behind. Oh, I will come again and again, if need be, a trillion times as so long as I know one stray brother is left behind. That's the love of a guru. He has nothing to gain, but he comes for us. Sometimes devotees express sadness, have to me and probably to others, that uh, they were not here when Master was on this earth. 
that they were not born at the time Master was on earth. And we know the great privilege it is to have a guru. But yet we know also that he is here. The guru has disciples not only on this plane, the physical plane, but also the astral and the causal. He is omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent, and he can be on any plane to help any disciple. He has that power, the freedom to be anywhere and everywhere in creation. There are individuals who used to ask Master, how are things going to be when you're gone? Usually organizations fall apart after the leader leaves. And they expected that of SRF, of course, because it was the way of the time. But Master said, I will be more with you when I'm gone, because the body is in the way. The body is in the way. I thought, I was thinking, like any human being, most likely, that because he had to take care of the body, so he couldn't take care of us, think of us so much. But that wasn't uh, his uh, reasoning at all. That wasn't what uh, he meant. He meant that his body stands in our way, that we are the ones see him as a human being instead of a divine being. It was so easy to do so. One time in Hollywood Temple, he was uh, talking on some subject, and he said to the people, when I'm gone, those who are attached to my body and my personality will be gone likewise. And that's what happened. When he announced one Sunday that this is his last Sunday in conducting services at the Hollywood Temple, Next Sunday, only 25% of the people appeared. 75% left. They were there for his personality. Master used to lecture in the largest auditoriums all over the country. But when he was building a temple, it was small. Because those who want God are few. Today, it is easier to think of Master's divinity because we don't see his body. He who thinks me near, I am near. It is all within ourselves to go within rather than see him outwardly. 